Hey guys, what up? Tucker here from the Amber Vision Guys. Today we're going to be disassembling and reassembling the piano. We're going to be taking the piano apart. I'm going to show you how to do it and put it back together. So this is an upright Baldwin piano and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now, some pianos work a little bit differently, but today we you're just going to get a little bit of an idea. So first what you want to do is you want to lift up your top on your piano. Mine just hinges. And usually you, you're supposed to sit your lamp inside where you take that. And now what you need to do after that, see if y'all can see the piano good. Um, yeah, you're good. Anyway, now what you do after that is you need there's these little hinges in your piano. Now, my hinges, let me show you how my hinges work real quickly. Now, the hinges in my piano are like this. You just flip this up. Just flip them up. This is how my piano works. And you just do the same over here. Just flip it up. Now, now what you need to do is make sure you can see the piano good. Okay, we're good. Anyway, now what you need to do, this is the heavy. This is very heavy, guys, so I just want to warn you. Now you just lift this up, and it should come right off of your piano. Just like that. Hold on a second, guys. I'm good. Anyway, now would you want to sit your top somewhere? You want to sit your top somewhere where it won't fall and hurt somebody. Now you got the inside of your piano with the hammers. And now what you want to do is, I, usually I would not take this front cover off. I don't take the front cover off. What I do is I take it and I lift it up and I just do this and I lean it against the action. And now, now you got this board. Let me show you this board real quickly. Now this board is what holds the keys in there. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a Phillips head screwdriver, as you can see. And we are going to twist these screws and be very careful not to let it drop down inside the piano. Let me just go ahead and do this real quickly. There's one on each end, guys. There's one on each end. Just one on each end, guys. Very easy. If I can get it, there we go. And be sure to not drop the screw down the um, piano. If you drop the screw in the piano, it'll be pretty bad. And sit the screws where you know where they are. I sit mine on top of my piano. Do not let them roll or do not bump your piano. And then you've got this middle one to twist. This one just twists, guys. All I gotta do is just twist that one. Okay. And twist it. Be sure. This one, yeah, this one's more, you know, not going to fall on the piano. It's easy because the keys are in the way. Okay, now you got that off. Now you got the other side to do. Which is right here. Now, guys, I'm actually filming this in April. Um, I know I said I was going to film in May. But, um, I had, um, I have a little bit free time, so... I figured I was doing an April YouTube video, but I'm not going to upload it in April. I'm going to upload this video in May. So, yeah. Okay, now we're ready to take the top off. We're ready to take the um, the board off. So, here we go, guys. Just take the board, be very careful, and just lift it right up. There you go. You got your little board. It goes over the keys. And set this where you also know where it is, because this is the main thing of the piano. They keep the keys in. Now, now we are ready. If you need to do any key working, let me show you something. All right. So the key. Now I do I do piano key replacement, so I know what I'm doing, guys. Now now you just now your keys just lift right up, even the black ones. Now we're gonna take the first one out, just like that. There you go. You got a piano key. Now, under this piano key, there's these felt little bushings under here. Very careful when you take these out, because if you lose these, I don't even know how much it is to get new ones in here. I've never had to put new ones in before. This is a felt bushing. It's a green felt bushing. I'm supposed to be using tools to hold this, to sit right there on the thing. Now what we do, now these little bushings, they kind of look like cardboard, seriously. They look like a little bit of cardboard, but there you go. You can take both. There's two of those. Two of these little white bushings. No, two of the brown bushings and one of the green felt bushings. If I can get this other one out. Huh. 
All right, guys. There you go. Now, you just, now be sure to put these bushings back in after you do that. And uh, yeah, put this one back in. Now you can put the key back in. Uh, does the same thing with the black keys. Let me sit y'all right here so I put the key back in. Sometimes it's a little process to get the key back in. You have to line it up with these certain pins. But I'd rather not do that on camera. It's gonna make this video very long. Okay, there we go. We got it back in there. The key's back in there. I missed. About to take that and just link it there. There we go. It's working again. And there you go, guys. You got it. You can do. You can do that to any of these keys. It'll it'll be like that all the way to the back. And this key has problems. I don't know what's wrong with that one. But anyway, now what you want to do is you want to you want to go ahead and put the stuff back in your piano the way you had it. So that means you got to get your board, the little front board first. You need to get this little thingy, and you got to put this back on it. And you have to line the holes up, guys. Remember to keep lining your holes up. Now, there's this little stick pin that you have to put in the middle, and there you go. You got that the back one. It's not lined right. There we go. And now, what you want to do is you want to get your um, screws. Do not turn the middle. Do not do the middle one first. That because you might um, get it twisted up or something like that. So that's why you always put the side screws in first. If I can get them in here, uh, let me do the left one first. Be a little bit easier for me to see. Now, just twist these screws back in here. And mine's um, sideways. Hold on. Hold on. We got it. And now for that, you need a Phillips head screwdriver again to twist it all the way back in there. And guys, be be very careful of how tight you put this because when you tight if you tighten this bar too much, it can press down the keys and your hammers won't work as good and your um, keys won't work as good. So be very careful of how tight that you um, do this. So after you put one in, just lean it back and make sure your front, front stack is good. And now, guys, you can do the other side. Do not do the middle first. Do not do the middle second either. Do um, the other one the last. I'm trying to find the hole if there's the hole. Now, um, guys, hold on. I'm going to put the screw driver in a second. It's very hard for me to see back here. There we go. All right, guys. Now, now be careful when you're doing this. If you drop a screw down your piano, it's not going to be good. I might have said that twice. I don't know. Uh, anyway, just be very careful, guys. Now again, lift your act, lift your board. Okay, your your things are good. Now, now you take your middle one and put it back in here. Be very careful, Hobbs. Huh? Now you don't need a tool for this. You do not need a tool to put your middle one up back in here. You just turn that. That's all you do. You do not need a tool. Of course, I don't. Okay, now, now, as you can see right there, the action's all messed up. We've got to loosen it just a little bit. Again, it's still acting up, so we got to loosen it a little bit more. And a little bit more. All right, we're good. Now what you want to do, lean your board back over. Now push it back in where you can see the key's good. There you go. Now you need to put your topic on. Let me see how long this video is. All right, now. Put your top back on your piano. Because this is a process for me is getting this top back on. As you can see, oh, I didn't. All right, I'm good. Now, oh, guys, hold on a second. There we go. There's one side, guys. those things back down both of them and there you go and now you can take your screwdriver off the thing sit it aside and now lift your lamp back up put your lid back down on both sides and uh, put your lamp back where you had it 